Hey guys, Iron Wolf here, uh, back with another Harold Conquest commentary video. I hope you guys really enjoyed my last one, uh, I enjoyed making it. I got a lot of constructive feedback from you guys, uh, talking about like, what what could be better and what could, you know, what could be changed and whatnot as far as like my commentary goes. So I hope, you know, I meet your guys' uh, expectations and what you guys would like to see. Um, so today I'll be talking about a match between myself and a uh, really good Zero ID, like vanilla Zero ID player named Feldfeld. Feldfeld's one of the best Zero ID players right now, and he, he's currently in the finals, I think, of the, or the winners bracket finals of uh, the Zero ID Championships Cup, uh, which is really cool. Uh, he's been playing a lot of Hyrule Conquest lately because he's interested in the uh, in the War of Twilight. But uh, this is a match between me and him. I'm playing as the Kokiri, and he's playing as the Kingdom of Hyrule. So we'll see how this match goes out. Uh, this match was a couple days ago, and uh, I've played a bunch of matches with Felfeld since then, so I don't quite remember the outcome. But we'll see. We'll see how things play out. All right. You see here, I am the purple Kokiri player, while Felfeld, the red Hylian player, going for a very standard, you know, getting his uh, his Hylian citizens out, getting his farm up, and his storehouse. I myself going out to scout right here. Minuteman on the wood. Workers on the bushes here. First one to drop off the food. Building a marker grove right here. Very standard opener from both players. And you see here uh, what Felfeld's doing here with these Highland lookouts in the scout. Uh, this is a really good strategy, especially with the Highlands, um, to kite the sand seals into your base using your scout. Um, this is a common tactic in vanilla zero ad and it's very effective with the hylians because the hylian lookouts are better than the hylian citizens at gathering food from hunted animals or just wildlife in general not even just sand seals but even the cuckoos see here producing workers that have been going onto the wood here getting these bushes up right here I'm gonna start producing workers onto the bushes you see i go for a community home off of my uh, community grove upgrade I usually try to go for that uh, myself, and most Kokiri players try to go for that too, so they can get that uh, that early population buff. See here, Felfel getting his first house up, probably getting close to his population cap. Producing workers onto the wood now, gonna have to get some materials. You see here these Highland Lookouts gathering from the Sand Seal. You see here he's getting another one. This first community grove, or I'm sorry, market grove, gets turned into a community home, and then we're turning it into a storehouse. Some of the workers from the wood are building my next uh, next two market groves. So in this video, if this is the one I'm thinking of, um, I go for something a little bit different. Um, instead of going for a tech right after I get my first couple market groves and my battle grove up, I decide to save those resources so I can get my Decker trees and my slingers out faster. It was very effective, if I remember correctly. Uh, I don't quite remember the outcome, but I remember uh, that particular strategy was very, very good. Um, but you see, I'm getting that woodcutting upgrade. Is Felfo, did he get, go for it? Uh, yes, I believe he did, yep. Very, uh, very good idea to get the woodcutting upgrade right off the bat, as pretty much any faction. So you can just always be getting these materials so much faster. Even if you have, like, not too many uh, workers on the on the, the wood here, that you, like you see, he has most of his workers on the food, which is understandable. He wants to get as many workers out as possible. And you can see here, he's got seven more coming. Probably gonna get another farm up soon, too. Got this third house. Scout still pulling in these sand seals to his base. Got these two marker groves up, turning them into community homes. Felfeld is a player that, uh, so I prefer to go for, you know, more heavy infantry, or not heavy infantry, just like heavily reliant on infantry when I play the Hylians, but Felfeld actually likes to go for a lot of cavalry. So he'll use King Kazak and go for a lot of early cavalry so he can work towards getting the golden clad, uh, golden clad elites, which I think is very good. I still prefer to go for like mass archers with Link and things like that, um, or you know maybe like castle guards, knights and with Zelda, things like that. I just I'm more of an infantry based player when it comes to the Highlands, but his strategy with the cavalry is uh, very very good, very good. It's more of a mid to late game type strategy, so I don't know how effective it is against the Kokiri. I wouldn't think very strong since the Kokiri is so uh, early game oriented. But you see here, I'm getting this first battle grove up, still producing laborers. 
Felfeld over here getting this second wood line up. Once again, uh, probably like a forward line right here in case, you know, I try to like start harassing or rushing or anything. Probably gonna try to get the sand seal in there too soon. He's already got some in here that is, uh, his lookouts have been gathering from. It's such an effective method of gathering food as the Hylians. So strong, so good. You see here, he's getting all these farms up. He goes for a lot of farms in this build, which is understandable. So you can get more food, which equals more workers, which equals more materials that you're going to need to get all these buildings that you're going to need as the Hylians. You see here, he's got this second wood line set up. Still producing workers, kiting the sand seal into the base. So you see here, as soon as I get my uh, first battle grove up, get this fairy set clued. You know, very straightforward, standard strategy as the uh, as the uh, Kokiri. Okay, I guess I do go for a tech. Okay, I must have been thinking of a different match than where I didn't do that. But I am going for this early tech. So you see here, uh, this wood line is starting to you know get a little depleted. So I get these slingers out as first uh, as you know first as soon as I can for my uh, battle grove. So then go over here and start working on this market grove, and start working on this wood line. I'm going to start moving some of my workers over there as well. The reason you'd want to do this is because, like, especially against a player like Feldfeld, who likes to go for, you know, more cavalry when it comes to playing the Hylians, he'll, he'll like, want to harass with your with his cavalry. So you want to have some units on this woodline right here to, uh, to try and protect uh, your woodline from any harasses or anything. So I've got these slingers going over here to work on this and then work on cutting down this woodline. Oh, I remember why I teched now. Okay, so the reason I want to tech is because the Kokiri can't get their towers, the Mudman Tower, until tier 2. So I wanted to tech up so that I could get this tower and defend my woodline from any harasses that Fofo was going to maybe throw out. You see here, got my first Deku Tree out, close to 6 minutes. Still producing Slingers and Deku Trees. Now, at this point, I'm starting to get Minutemen from my uh, Community Grove and some of my Market Groves. It's very good. Um, you ha if you have the resources, which you usually should, because the Kokiri are so good at uh, gathering resources, you're going to have the extra resources to uh, get all these uh, these Minutemen and just throw them in where you can into your army. Right, getting some more Market Groves. Let's look over here at Feldfeld. Got a bunch of farms up, as you see here. Getting his first barracks up at 6 minutes. It's not bad. He also has just recently teched up, as we see up here. Probably want to get that stable up soon as well. But at this point, he's probably trying to get some kind of early defenses going in case, you know, uh, in preparation for the impending doom of the Kokiri and the Deku Trees. See here, this woodline is just about depleted. This tower is about to go up over here, so I can defend this woodline. I don't defend this flank as much. Um, I do set up another woodline over here, but usually I have my... Uh, I have like one wood line be protected by a tower and some soldiers, while the other wood line I usually, like that's usually where I'll like have my army just be chilling. Producing Saria at this point, it's pretty good. Best hero in the game, pro honestly she's probably the best hero in the game, in my opinion. Uh, There's some dis disputes over, you know, who's the best, but I think a lot of people would say that Saria is the best hero in the game. We see here he's getting some castle guards out. This is very good. They have very re good resistance to physical ranged attacks. So, for example, the slingers. Very good resistance against the slingers. Castle guards, such a good unit. Very cheap, too. You see here he goes for this uh, early upgrade on the, uh, the Kingdom Barracks so they can get these Knights of Hyrule. Very, very good infantry unit. He probably wants to get that unit out so that he can have something, you know, more durable and whatnot to protect against these uh, these Deku Trees once they come out. You see here, I get this second grove up, this battle grove, so I can start getting out more Slingers. Got this wood line set up over here. All these little Kokiri children working away. This broken little faction of children. He's getting this tower up right here, so he can is doing a, something very similar to this. This is usually kind of what you want to do on uh, Gerudo, Gerudo Oasis when uh, this woodline starts or your first woodline starts to get depleted, like right here or right here on your if you're on player two side. But you want to usually like expand onto one of these little uh, this little like I don't know what you'd call it this little line of trees right here. You'll usually want to like expand with a drop off and a tower, as you see like I do over here and Feldfeld does over here. Just, you know, protect them from any kind of harasses or anything, because this is a very forward position for a woodline to be. Um, in some cases, you may want to even build a barracks up here so you can produce units right onto your woodline. Uh, you see he's getting another one up over here. 
that's something that's very common in vanilla zero ad as well is like on a forward wood line like this you'd want to build a barracks so that you can produce units onto it so see here getting more uh minutemen We've got a bunch right here gathering food you know rupees just any kind of uh, resources i may need these minutemen that you kind of just throw in every once in a while when resources allow like if you've got you know a bunch of slingers queued up and deku tree sling up or queued up and whatnot and you're not really doing anything with your resources um I mean, of course, you're going to be spending your materials to, you know, build more uh, market growth so you can get a higher pop. But if you're, you know, you have extra, you know, like ore or food that you're just not using, just throw in some minutemen. Always a, a good unit to have in bulk. So you see here, close to nine minutes, getting our army rolling out. This is a little bit faster than usual. Um, in some cases, maybe if you went for a delayed tech, uh, you could maybe even squeeze this down to like eight minutes, thirty seconds, as opposed to nine. But you see here, I'm still producing some of these slingshotters and deco trees. Let's go over here and see what Feldfeld's up, up to. He's got this new wood line, got a bunch of houses up. He's kind of building this pseudo wall around his uh, his base. And the reason for this being is so that he could kind of protect his uh, workers from any kind of attacks. You know, they'll have to go around and maneuver through these buildings. And it'll, it'll take longer for them to get to his workers. So he can have more time to send them to his town center. Should he get attacked from, you know, over here. See here, he's getting more uh, Knights of Hyrule. Very good unit. Getting a tower up as well. No cavalry though, which is odd. Usually, uh, Feldfeld tends to go for cavalry early as this faction. See, so continuously, you know, moving this wood line along. Although this is not looking very good for Feldfeld right now. He's got, he's got a tower. His, you know, his civic center. He's got some. What is this? Four Knights of Hyrule, two castle guards. He's got. A couple more on the way. Um, he's. I think he saw my army. Uh, I think he was, you know, scouting and he saw my army trying to like get up here to, to try and flank. So you know, he's now I think going to start preparing some defenses and whatnot. So he pulled that scout out. It's going to get these Kingdom Hyrule of uh, or Knights of Hyrule before I get this attack in. You see, he's queuing another group right away. What's going on back here? See here, back at my base, still continuously like building up this wood line. And producing deco trees and slingers such a good strategy even minutemen too you see how many minutemen i've got in such a short amount of time 13 wow 13 minutemen since i you know moved this army out but you see here i've now begun my raid my first initial attack on feldfeld these units kind of got detached from the main unit i don't remember how and i didn't quite see but you see feldfeld's got a pretty good army here you know he's got some knights of hyrule got more on the way building defenses he knows that these uh these towers won't do too much against the deco trees but you know it's something so we'll see what he can do see i'm moving my second wave behind another deco tree more deco trees and slingers should be coming yep there we go minute men so we got my first wave of uh deco trees right here with slingers and my next one coming right behind you see he Get uh, get some units to put them in these towers, so it's uh, it's more difficult for me to uh, to take them over. But the thing is, like the thing about that with Deku trees, especially with a couple of them, you can already do like a bunch of damage to a uh, building. So like you don't really need to capture them if that makes sense. You see here like how fast they're doing damage to this building. Yeah, he's moving his army in here. Let's see what he's got. So Feldfeld's a little outnumbered right now. He has higher quality units, for the most part, besides Zekertrees, of course. Um, but I've got much more units, and Saria combined with the Slingers. You know, look how fast they attack. Oh, so good. So you see he's pulling his army out. About to get some more Knights of Hyrule out. He's got, what, 13? That's not bad, actually. He can actually, you know, mount some kind of defense here. You see, I've got more Deku Trees, more Slingers, and more Minutemen on the way soon. Let's see here. Alright, yeah, I see he's pulling his Knights out. He's trying to just go in and out. That barracks goes down. That's going to be really rough for Feldfeld here. See, he's kind of garrisoning his units, just kind of like pulling them back, then pulling them... Uh, back to the front lines, you know, back and forth. See here at this point, I'm kind of just, you know, like, I recognize that he's pulling his troops back. I don't want to overcommit. I say, all right, you know what? I'll just try to take out some of his houses while I can. Um, wait for my next wave to show up, because you see they're right here on their way. 
I don't want to overcommit too much and try to just go straight for his uh, town center. I'll lose a lot of units here because not only does he have those knights, but he also has this tower right here and the attack from his town center. See, I got all these houses. Five houses already. As well as my third wave coming in of Deku Trees and Slingers. Still producing more. Yeah, I'll bring down all those houses. That's a big setback for Feldfeld here. This is kind of looking like game, unless he can mount some kind of defense. Maybe get this tower up as soon as he can. Um, if he can get some kind of uh, barracks or something. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice this over here. Wow. He's got another barracks down here, getting some Kingdom Infantry and upgrading his uh, barracks. Got a market plaza. Probably wants to trade any kind of like extra resources that he, he has to get food, as you see here. Materials for food, so he can start pumping out these soldiers a lot faster. But you see he's kind of like moving down here a bit, so he can get away from this colossal force over here. Um, I hadn't, you know, scouted this part of his base as well, so I was unfamiliar as what was over here, so I didn't want to like commit and go down here just yet. Um... If I knew what was down here uh, at the time, I probably would have, you know, maybe sent a, det a detachment to come over here along this side of the oasis to try and take out this uh, market over here. But you see he's getting some towers up. I'm going to try to flank him from around this side. I just kind of wanted to get out of his vision and kind of like make it ambiguous of where I would strike from next. See, I've got my fourth wave coming in. Still producing Deku Trees and Slingers while Feldfeld probably wants to get some. Yep, as you see here, Knights of Hyrule. Get that out. Blacksmith, interesting. Maybe he wants to go for some uh, some kind of upgrade to help out his defense. This is not looking good for Fofo here. Getting another barracks. Probably wants to like try to double pump out troops here. He's got these towers with those soldiers and the civic center. This is gonna be very difficult for me to take over uh, with regular units. But you know, Deku trees they make it a lot easier, at least for the Kokiri. I'm trying to take out these farms. Yeah, you see here, I've got this this next wave right here. Kind of send them around this way. Kind of, you want to, like, pinch him in right here. Okay, he goes up to the city face. Oh, that's not bad. Maybe he can try to get some kind of, like, higher quality unit out as soon as possible, but... His town center is not looking too good right now. I probably won't be able to take it over, though, because he has a bunch of units in there. So, yeah, I think I just opt to attack it straight up. And then you see here, I've got these, these soldiers down here taking over... Uh, this side of his base i've kind of noticed that he has something going on down here so you know i kind of send that detachment down there but my, the main bulk of my force is still up here um dealing with this town center i want to get this tower out of the way very very annoying you see these slingers here picking off uh, villagers yeah that tower goes down now it's a free ride to his town hall I don't think I have too many soldiers left there. Yeah, just a couple of slingers. Yeah, see, I lost a bunch of my uh, infantry during this attack because of those two towers combined with the town center. Just They just do way too much. But the Deku Trees and Saria are still alive and doing well. Um, you see, he brings his units out here, his uh, his soldiers, to try and you know combat this. You see, he might want to try to snipe Saria. Um, I think I even, um, at this point, I noticed this and put her inside of one of the Deku Trees so that they can't hurt her. Gonna have to pull this force from down here, as you see here, yeah. Gonna have to pull them up here. I did take over this barracks, though. About to lose it. Yeah, I put Saria in uh, one of those Deku trees because I wanted her to be safe from uh, from these soldiers right here. Because he definitely, if he can snipe Saria, he can uh, he can mount some kind of defense against this. Actually, as you see over here, got another group of Deku trees and slingers coming. Just constantly throwing them into his base. And the talent center is about to go down. And that's it. Yep. That's pretty much game at this point, honestly. He did. I thought he had another town center down here. Because when I was scouting down here with that force I sent over here, I saw this and I just glimpsed at it for a second. I thought it was another town center. Um, but it turns out that it wasn't. And so uh, this is this is game at this point. So, Feldfeld, you know, he was doing really good on his defense with uh, Knights of Hyrule and all those towers, you know. They weren't bad. They were, you know, it killed a lot of my infantry, but they just can't deal with the tankiness of the Deku trees. So as you see here, yeah, I've resigned. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this match. Uh, I enjoyed watching it. 
it's always good to see you know players from the Z vanilla zero ID player come over and in, into the higher world community and start playing some matches so that's good to see um i can't wait for the tournament i can't wait to see how good uh Phil Phil is during the tournament now that he's playing the kokiri which is uh, a pretty strong faction but uh thank you guys for watching i hope you really enjoyed be sure to give me some feedback if you have any uh, like and subscribe um i really appreciate the continued support i say that in all my videos but i really mean it you know all the support from you guys means the world for me even if it's just the slightest bit of support feel free to join my discord that's linked in the description below um we talk a lot about hyrule conquest strategies you know we figure out bugs and things like that and exploits um and not even just like things like that just you know we just talk talk about the game and zelda and just have a good time it's a great time for everyone um be sure to check out the War of Twilight. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. The Hyrule Conquest Tournament Series. It's on the Wildfire Games forum. Uh, check it out. It's going to be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video.